As they say, luck is also a skill. And sometimes, lucky people get rewarded with incredible serendipitous discoveries. There are some people who are lucky enough to unearth things that will be written in history books. From a graveyard of shipwrecks to historic stone formations, here are 20 most amazing accidental historical discoveries. Number 20. Graveyard of Shipwrecks in the Black Sea Maritime archaeologists accidentally stumbled upon a rare discovery in 2016. Experts were scanning the ocean floor off Bulgaria's coast when they discovered not one, but 41 ancient shipwrecks. Originally, they were conducting research on water levels after the last ice age, but it seems like the Black Sea unveiled its secrets. Known for its oxygen-free layers of water, its waters turned out to be the perfect preserver of the wrecks. There, almost 500 feet beneath the waves, were shipwrecks untouched by time, again thanks to the lack of oxygen. The research team, equipped with cutting-edge remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs with high-resolution cameras, brought the past to life with 3D images. At the same time, another ROV, designed for speed and loaded with geophysical tools, helped cover more ground. Among these ghostly vessels were relics from the Ottoman and Byzantine empires. Unfortunately, the team had no choice but to leave the wrecks beneath the Black Sea, where the conditions would perhaps preserve them for decades. Thanks to modern technology, we can now research these underwater wrecks without the risk of disturbing them or the ecosystem that has been established around them. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. An Underground City not everyone can say they've uncovered a historical city while doing home repairs, but a man from Derinkuyu, Turkey can claim that honor. In 1963, during a seemingly ordinary home renovation, he discovered a mysterious room behind a wall. But perhaps, a mysterious room understates his discovery. Rather than a hidden room, he found an extensive network of tunnels. These passageways soon became known as the ancient Derinkuyu underground city. This ancient settlement lies beneath the modern, bustling Derinkuyu. Derinkuyu is a labyrinth in marvel stretching over 18 stories underground, 200 feet deep, carved from the region's soft volcanic rock. Historians estimate it could have sheltered 20,000 people in the past. This subterranean wonder isn't just a series of tunnels. It's a full-fledged underground city with wells, ventilation shafts, water sources, and rooms designed for long-term living, including churches, stables, and even wineries. The creation of Derinkuyu dates back thousands of years, with some historians suggesting its construction began between the 8th and 7th centuries BCE. Initially, these carved rooms might have served as storage or living spaces, taking advantage of the volcanic rock's natural insulation. But as times changed, so did the city's purpose. It transformed into a refuge, a hidden fortress against invaders, with defensive features like massive stone doors, some two feet thick, sealing off passages. This underground haven provided safety and anonymity, proven by its undetected existence for centuries. As time passed, people in Derinkuyu saw no need to hide anymore, and so this marvelous underground city was left forgotten. Number 18. The Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone is arguably one of the most important discoveries that helped us understand ancient Egyptian civilization. Without its accidental discovery, we might still be in the dark regarding ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. In 1799, during Napoleon Bonaparte's campaign in Egypt, a group of French army engineers stumbled upon the Rosetta Stone. This occurred while they were doing fortification repairs near Rashid, also known as Rosetta. The precious stone slab was not a targeted find, but an accidental one buried in the sands of time. Initially, the Rosetta Stone had graced a temple, likely near Saïs, an ancient Egyptian town. Over the centuries, it was moved to Rosetta and incorporated into the construction of Fort Julian, where it lay hidden until its rediscovery. The stone's journey did not end there. In 1801, following the defeat of the French forces in Egypt, the Rosetta Stone was obtained by the British. The artifact's significance was soon recognized, and efforts to decipher its inscriptions began. In 1814, British scientist Thomas Young initiated the process, making notable progress. He realized that the cartouches, Hieroglyphs encased in ovals contain phonetic spellings of royal names, such as Ptolemy, also referenced in the Greek inscription on the stone. The definitive breakthrough came from French linguist Jean-Francois Champollion. He revealed that hieroglyphics were symbolic picture writing, 
and a sophisticated combination of phonetic and ideographic signs. This revelation cracked the hieroglyphic code, a feat that crowned Champollion as the founding father of Egyptology. And so, this accidental find helped us understand the great Egyptian civilization better. Number 17. 1,000-Year-Old Fish Trap Imagine this. You're casually browsing through Google Earth photos, maybe to peek at your neighborhood from a bird's eye view or to explore some remote corner of the globe, and suddenly you spot something unusual. This is exactly what happened with the discovery of a thousand-year-old fish trap off the coast of Wales. The fish trap, found in the Tefi estuary, spanned over 850 feet long. This shows that in the past, a millennium ago, people didn't really rely on rods or nets, but on large, intricate structures built with sheer manpower and resourcefulness. Experts claimed that the man-made trap was authentic and was constructed from locally quarried rock or boulders left by glaciers during the last ice age. Recent dives nearby also revealed other underwater structures that show millennium-old fish traps. These could very well be the oldest manufactured structures in all of Wales. In the past, these underwater traps caught fish, but after years and years of being submerged, the boulders used to build the trap have transformed over time into a kind of natural reef, attracting diverse marine life such as tube-dwelling worms, red algae, and sea anemones. Ironically, the structures built to catch marine creatures are now part of the local ecosystem. Number 16. A hiker stumbles upon an old sword. Goran Olsen was enjoying his time hiking in the mountainous Haukeli region in Norway when he stumbled upon an unexpected find, an old sword. He didn't expect to see a 1,200-year-old Viking sword during this trip. The sword was over 30 inches long and was crafted of wrought iron. The weapon, missing its original handle and possibly originating from a burial site or lost by a traveler, is a relic from around 750 or 800 AD, marking the start of the most significant period of Viking expansion. Its excellent preservation is attributed to the region's frost and snow cover for half the year and low humidity during the summer months. This discovery piqued the interest of archaeologists who planned to explore the area further, hoping it might lead to more findings from the Viking era. The Vikings were a people of contradictions, farmers and raiders, builders and destroyers, poets and warriors. They were predominantly from Scandinavian regions like Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, and were seafaring warriors, who from the 9th to the 11th century raided and colonized vast areas of Europe. It's no wonder that to this day, we continue to search for more information about these seafarers. Number 15. 2,000-Year-Old Dog Statue In the heart of Rome, beneath the Via Latina, one of the city's oldest streets, a fascinating discovery was made. During construction work for laying water pipes in the Appio Latino Quarter, a well-preserved terracotta statue of a dog dating back to the 1st century BCE and the 1st century CE was unearthed. This find was part of a larger archaeological treasure trove, including three tombs and an intact funerary urn. The statue itself, a small palm-sized piece, features a pointy-eared dog wearing a collar with an emblem, clasping a small object between its paws. The dog's exact breed remains uncertain, but its features show the Roman period's focus on the selective breeding of dogs for qualities like hunting, guarding, and companionship. Interestingly, in ancient Rome, Terracotta statues sometimes served functional purposes, such as being part of the rooftop drainage system. However, this particular dog statue, crafted from similar clay material but lacking any chiseled holes, was likely intended as a decorative fixture or a gift. Humanity seems to have been fond of dogs since the beginning of time. The discovery of this statue is a vivid reminder of the long-standing relationship between humans and animals, particularly dogs, in human history. The presence of dogs in ancient Roman culture was significant, with breeds like the Molossian Hound, an ancestor to the modern Mastiff, being popular. This breed, along with others such as ancestors of Irish wolfhounds, greyhounds, and lurchers, shows just how treasured and beloved canine companions were in the Roman era. Number 14. Skeleton with Iron Prosthetics In freezing Bavaria, Germany, a remarkable discovery was accidentally made during pipeline excavation near the St. George Parish Church. Archaeologists unearthed the well-preserved skeleton of a man dating back to between 1450 and 1620. However, the age of the remains wasn't what made it special. It was a sophisticated iron prosthetic hand. This prosthetic 
composed of individually crafted sheet metal fingers from the index to the middle ring and little fingers, replaced four missing fingers on the man's left hand. This artificial limb was merely secured to the stump with straps, but it was something way ahead of its time. It's among the earliest prostheses we've uncovered, proving that our predecessors had ingenious ways in medicine, or at least they're more brilliant than we think. While the purpose behind the amputation and the specific use of the prosthetic remain unknown, traces of fabric and leather found in its initial scan suggest the possibility of a covering for the prosthetic fingers. A gauze-like texture inside the iron hand indicated an effort to pad the hand stump for increased comfort. The thumb of the hand was preserved, but the circumstances leading to the amputation are yet to be deciphered. You see, approximately 50 similar prostheses have been discovered across Central Europe from the late Middle Ages to the early Modern Age. The city of Freezing, marked by various military conflicts, including the Thirty Years' War, likely experienced increased amputations during these tumultuous periods contributing to the demand for prosthetic devices. With this discovery, we get the chance to see the development and timeline of these artificial limbs in the region. Number 13. The Mysterious Body Under Notre Dame The Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris is a historic structure. Its initial construction began way back in 1163 under the rule of King Louis VI. It wasn't until 1345 that it was largely completed. Even so, it underwent several reconstructions and renovations throughout the years. For almost nine long centuries, the cathedral stood strong until fire ravished the structure in April 2019. And yet, this fire gave way to an accidental discovery as the construction was underway. Two ancient sarcophagi hidden by the sands of time were uncovered, each holding past secrets. In one of these sarcophagi, a high priest named Antoine de la Porte who passed away in 1710 at the age of 83, was found. The other sarcophagus cradled an enigma, an unknown male, thought to be between 25 and 40 years old. This man, nicknamed Le Cavalier by the archaeologists, likely lived in an era before the high priest. His remains suggest he was a horseback rider, with his burial indicating he might have been an aristocrat. The remnants of leaves and flowers in his coffin, possibly once a crown or wreath, and signs of embalming speak volumes of his status. Intriguingly, experts think he may have suffered from a chronic disease, possibly dying from chronic meningitis resulting from tuberculosis. Both men were entombed in lead coffins, a practice reserved for the elite of society. Yet, the distinct differences in their coffins hint at the lives they led at different times. Le Cavalier's coffin, molded around his body, contrasts the other, each telling its own story of the past that we're yet to uncover. Number 12. The Dead Sea Scrolls In 1947, in a serendipitous turn of events, a shepherd boy stumbled upon one of the most significant archaeological finds of the modern era in a cave in Kerbet Qumran, near the northwestern shore of the Dead Sea. This accidental discovery led to the unearthing of the Dead Sea Scrolls, a collection of ancient manuscripts predominantly written in Hebrew and composed of materials such as leather, papyrus, and copper. These scrolls helped advance the study of the Hebrew Bible and the history of the Near East, particularly between the 4th century BCE and 135 CE. The scrolls have allowed scholars to push back the date of a stabilized Hebrew Bible to no later than 70 CE. Moreover, they've shed light on the early development of Christianity and Judaism, as well as on the relationship between these early religious traditions. In fact, we continuously discover more of these religious manuscripts each revealing a small piece of human history and religion. Number 11. Blue Babe In the frosty terrains near Fairbanks, Alaska, a relic from the Ice Age was accidentally unveiled in 1979, a moment frozen in time, literally and figuratively. It was during a routine mining operation that the Roman family stumbled upon this extraordinary discovery, the carcass of an ancient Alaska steppe bison, later affectionately nicknamed Blue Babe. The bison's remains, partially unearthed by the force of a hydraulic mining hose, were quickly recognized as holding significant historical value, prompting the miners to contact the University of Alaska. Experts then identified the carcass as that of an Ice Age bison, estimated to be tens of thousands of years old. Blue Babe's name was inspired by its unique appearance. This was because the carcass was covered in a blue chalky substance, a result of a chemical reaction where phosphorus from the animal tissue met iron in the surrounding soil. 
Subsequent radiocarbon dating of a skin sample astonishingly placed Blue Babe's time of death around 36,000 years ago. Clues on the carcass, including claw marks and tooth punctures, suggest a tragic end at the hands of an Ice Age American lion, an ancestor of the modern African lion. The condition of the carcass revealed much about Blue Babe's final moments and the aftermath. It appeared the bison had died in cold conditions, evident from the remnants of underfur and a layer of fat that indicated a wintertime demise. The frozen state of the carcass likely made it difficult for scavengers to entirely consume it, leaving it in a partially scavenged state throughout the winter. Number 10. Hidden Portraits by Cezanne and Van Gogh Paul Cezanne, a French Impressionist and painter, along with Vincent Van Gogh, are two artists renowned worldwide. And so, these accidental, groundbreaking discoveries intrigued art enthusiasts from all around the globe. Beneath Cezanne's tranquil still life of bread and eggs, an entirely different scene was revealed, a portrait previously unseen. Similarly, Van Gogh's own self-portrait was discovered on the flip side of his piece, entitled Head of a Peasant Woman from 1885. It seems that these artists, even after their deaths, continue to intrigue us with their art. Number 9. S.S. Jassim in the quiet depths off the coast of Sudan lies the SS Jassim, a Bolivian cargo ferry, this vessel, which had sunk in 2003. Now what made this wreck special is that it was discovered through sheer luck. It resurfaced in public consciousness unexpectedly through the lens of Google Earth, revealing itself as one of the largest shipwrecks visible on the digital platform. The SS Jassim can be seen on its side, frozen in time at the very spot where it met its watery fate. The ship, launched in 1961 and owned by Al Ramzani Sea Transport of Qatar, met its end on the evening of December 1, 2003. Today, almost 20 years after it sank, we're still clueless as to how this ship ended up at the bottom of the waters of Sudan. Today, it rests in the Wingate Reef, known for its shipwrecks and famous among divers. Who knows how many more shipwrecks will be discovered by sheer luck? Who knows? You might stumble upon one while simply reviewing your next route. Number 8. Ancient Roman Villa In the quaint town of Sorbolo, near Parma, Italy, an unexpected discovery was made, not by archaeologists or historians, but by a curious resident exploring his neighborhood. Luca Mori, a computer programmer, was browsing satellite images on Google Earth when he noticed something unusual near his home. The area exhibited an oval-shaped form over 500 yards long, accompanied by peculiar rectangular shadows. Intrigued by these anomalies, Mori reached out to the National Archaeological Museum of Parma to investigate further. The site initially sparked thoughts of a Bronze Age origin, but upon closer inspection, it unveiled its true identity. Archaeologists, after examining the site, found ceramic and stone pieces that were part of a Roman villa dating back to a period just before the birth of Christ. This discovery shifted the narrative from a simple anomaly on a satellite image to a significant archaeological find revealing a piece of ancient Roman history nestled in the Italian landscape. The site, once just a peculiar pattern on a map, has now been recognized as a significant archaeological find. Number 7. Camille Crater In 2008, through the lens of Google Earth, a remarkable discovery was made by Vincenzo de Michel, a mineralogist based in Milan, Italy. While studying natural features, de Michel stumbled upon a peculiar rounded impact crater in the Egyptian desert. This chance observation led to the identification of the Kemal Crater, one of the best-preserved meteorite impact sites ever found. The Kemal Crater was formed by the impact of a rare metallic meteorite traveling over 7,400 miles per hour. The meteorite, possibly weighing 10 tons, created a fireball and plume visible from over 600 miles away, leaving a 147-foot-wide and 52-foot-deep crater in the rocky terrain. Astonishingly, this crater had remained undisturbed and unseen by humans for thousands of years, preserving its pristine condition. This discovery of the Kemal Crater, named after a nearby rocky outcrop, has provided astronomers and scientists a field to learn about the behavior of large metallic meteorites and their impact phenomena. It also gives experts potential clues to ancient human observations of celestial events, with ongoing research to pinpoint the exact age of the impact. Hopefully, its exposure to the public won't lead to its slow desecration. Number 6. A Tunnel and an Oracle Room The Hypogeum of Hal Cefalini is an incredible discovery dating to the Cefalini phase from 3300 to 3000 BC. 
This underground structure serves mainly as a necropolis and is the final resting place for over 7,000 individuals. Its walls are intricately decorated with red ochre spirals and honeycomb patterns created by a civilization that's long gone. This magnificent find wouldn't have been possible if it weren't for workers in 1902. While excavating cisterns for a new housing development, laborers accidentally pierced the roof of the hypogeum. This incident sparked years-long research into the structure. Some researchers believe its chambers were used for ceremonial purposes, perhaps to connect with the divine or the supernatural. What makes this structure so unique are its acoustics. One part of this system is known as the Oracle Room. It's a chamber where a spoken word reverberates throughout the entire complex. The underground chambers exhibit a phenomenon known as resonance, where certain sound frequencies are enhanced and prolonged within the space. Researchers have conducted studies to understand and replicate these acoustic effects, delving into the ancient acoustical engineering employed by the builders of the room. This acoustic excellence is thought to be intentional, serving a purpose in the rituals or ceremonies conducted within the hypogeum. The careful manipulation of sound could have held symbolic or religious significance for the people who used this subterranean complex, adding a layer of mystique to its already enigmatic nature. Access to the hypogeum is limited, and visitors are required to book their visits in advance. These measures not only contribute to the preservation of the fragile archaeological site, but also enhance the overall visitor experience. Number 5. 4,000-Year-Old Log Coffin in July 2018, workers renovating a pond at a golf course in Tetney, a village in northeast England, struck an unlikely problem while at work. While clearing out the pond, they discovered a coffin crafted from a single tree trunk that dates back to a staggering 4,000 years ago. The coffin was hidden beneath the pond's waters inside the golf course. With its age alone, it's a significant find. Crafting coffins out of single logs was commonly done in the Bronze Age. Despite being 4,000 years old and submerged in water, it's astonishing that this coffin remains remarkably well-preserved. What's more intriguing was the contents of the coffin, a warrior skeleton holding an axe. The presence of a weapon with a burial suggests that the person may have been of high status. Number 4. Notosaur Dinosaur In March 2011, an extraordinary discovery was made at the Millennium Oil Sands Mine operated by Suncor Energy in Alberta. Sean Funk, a heavy equipment operator was drilling in the crude oil sands when he encountered something unexpected. Round rocks that resembled ribs, massive ones at that. This accidental discovery turned out to be a significant paleontological find. The fossil unearthed was identified as a notosaur, specifically belonging to the genus Borea Pelta, which means northern shield. This notosaurid ankylosaur from the lower Cretaceous period of Alberta, Canada was unique and well-preserved. Notosaurs were armored herbivores known for their distinctive body armor and lack of tail clubs. Unlike their ankylosaurid relatives, these formidable creatures, which could weigh up to 3,000 pounds, would have been incredible to see. After all, they were built like walking fortresses with bony plates embedded in their skin to protect against predators. Number 3. The Viking Horde In 2014, in the unassuming locale of Balmagee, the southwestern region of Scotland, an extraordinary slice of history was uncovered. Quite by accident, Derek McLennan, a metal detectorist from Ayrshire, was exploring an area on glebe lands owned by the Church of Scotland when his device signaled the presence of metal. This change detection led to the discovery of the Galloway Hoard, an astonishing collection of treasures that has since been hailed as the richest lump of rare and unique Viking Age objects ever found in all of Britain or Ireland. Dating back to around AD 900, the Galloway Hoard encapsulates a stunning variety of materials and treasures, hailing from diverse origins, including Ireland, the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, and as far away as Asia. This precious collection includes over 100 gold, silver, glass, crystal, stone, and earthen objects from the Viking Age. From a Christian cross, glass beads, dirt balls with flecks of gold, precious vessels, it's indeed among the most precious hoards ever unearthed and it's incredible to think that an amateur discovered it. Now, perhaps you're probably wondering why these precious items were buried beneath the earth. Well, archaeologists themselves are uncertain, but it's most likely that the entire hoard was buried for safekeeping. Consider it similar to modern humans putting away precious items in a safe. And now you're probably thinking whether the metal detectorist became a wealthy man overnight because of this lucky find. Well, 
by the Scottish common law of treasure trove, the finder will get a reward related to the market value of what he discovered. In the end, McLennan, the landowners, and the authorities agreed to share the proceeds of the hoard, which was estimated to be around 1.98 million pounds in value. Number 2. The Greatest Accidental Discovery in Europe In 1922, a monumental discovery was made in the realm of archaeology, one that would captivate the world and rewrite the history of ancient Egypt. It was in the Valley of the Kings that Howard Carter, an archaeologist fueled by persistence and undeterred by skeptics, stumbled upon the tomb of King Tutankhamun, a pharaoh who reigned over 3,300 years prior. Needless to say, this discovery was unexpected. The tomb of Tutankhamun, often referred to simply as King Tut, swiftly became one of the most iconic discoveries in archaeology. And yet, not many know that the king's tomb was unearthed by complete luck. But well, Carter and his team weren't the first ones in the tomb. After all, 3,000 years after the burial, it seems like tomb raiders stole stones in the pharaoh's tomb. Even so, this prior robbery doesn't decrease the significance of the most well-known pharaoh of ancient Egypt. And now it's time for today's topic. This drone accidentally found an abandoned area and made a historically important discovery. This drone flying over the desert stumbled upon a strange sight, a large, ancient-looking building surrounded by massive rock spikes. It's odd to find such a place where no one ever goes, and it looks like it was hidden on purpose. Drones have found lost places before, but this one seems different, like people from long ago didn't want anyone to find it. Right now, all we can do is guess why it's there or who built it. Just think about the secrets it might be keeping. Number 1. Medieval Irish Henge Hidden for thousands of years, an ancient henge site was rediscovered beneath Ireland's waters. It was all thanks to Anthony Murphy, a curious explorer who decided to survey Ireland using a drone. Perhaps it was coincidence that he flew his small aircraft during a brutal heat wave that struck the United Kingdom. The dried bodies of water revealed not only lake and riverbeds, but also forgotten archaeological sites, particularly the Irish Henge. This curious structure consists of an unusual circular structure, approximately 500 feet in diameter. At first glance, it seemed too surreal to be true, and the drone operator who initially saw the henge doubted its reality. But upon reaching the site, well, it proved to be true. This henge, estimated to be around 5,000 years old, was believed to be large enough to hold thousands of people, possibly for ancient ritual events. And just like the famous Stonehenge in England, this Irish henge is shrouded in mystery. Did we miss any discoveries? If you know other finds that you think should be on this list, feel free to comment down below and keep the discussion going. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.